Hi guys, I have uh, purchased um, more puzzles here. I thought I wouldn't be doing any more uh, puzzle hauls because um, I have promised myself last year that I wouldn't be buying any more puzzles, but um, uh, I just couldn't help it. <laughs> so I fell off the wagon. <laughs> so um, uh, I think this is going to be a continual uh, or continuous um, video <laughs> and um, I will keep on reviewing especially uh, new to me um, puzzles just to give um, some perspective on you know what to um, expect as to um, quality and all that anyway so we're, we, we're going to start off with this puzzle this is uh, a mud puppy puzzle I've been seeing mud puppy puzzles I've seen them in Dillard's and um, also in um, Barnes and Noble and they are quite expensive they're like $19 and 99 cents plus tax uh, but this one was on clearance um, I was happy to find this at the clearance section uh, home goods and it was only priced at um, um, six dollars so I'm currently working on this puzzle right now and I will uh, surely make a video on this one I am enjoying the quality is superb zero puzzle dust but um, level of difficulty it's really really difficult because it's the colors are just um, spread out it's everywhere <laughs> so um, it's difficult but uh, it's very colorful the colors are vibrant and um, i'm enjoying it so far so um yeah this is quite a surprise okay so uh, well worth it it's a mud puppy next would be this which i have already reviewed um i just bought this uh last week and i was so excited to um do it and this is a wooden jigsaw puzzle it's only 120 pieces but uh this is from professor puzzle uh, i got this for 9.99 uh yeah it was on sale this is from um professor and it's a puzzle and they have different different shapes odd odd shapes very very tiny but since this is my very first jigsaw wooden puzzle proper per se i was impressed with the um, quality i did make a review on this one last week so if you're interested you can um you know you can watch it i i love 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 this one here is another puzzle that i have completed it's masterpieces from their time away collection so as i have been mentioning masterpieces has a lot of uh different you know themes they have the uh the time away they have the childhood dreams they have the easy grip which is by far my favorite puzzle uh they have um, the disney character what do you call that uh, i forgot but anyway um i did make a video on this one because the packaging is completely different plus it's a completely different um collection and i would say the quality is not as you know um a par with the other uh masterpieces uh, collection so they may belong to the same brand but quality actually differs <laughs> that's why i had to make a review a separate review on this one i hate the packaging it's just flimsy um anyway i did not like the packaging at all <laughs> all right oh jeez. all right next yes i've um i did a review on this one already <clears throat> is a blockbuster so uh you can you won't believe how much i got this for it was only a dollar and it's from the clearance section of marshall's okay so this is normally priced at uh, 9.99 um and uh five and below would have this for five dollars but uh, i'm what i'm telling you is uh, that i was surprised it was actually a good uh, a good puzzle i wasn't um disappointed in fact this is even better than seco well i enjoyed this but it was just a difficult puzzle i also reviewed this next is this they all also have the office but 
I, I, I'm, well, I, I've enjoyed uh, Clueless, that's why I had to get it. This one, Titanic, I have not built it yet. I think it's gonna be difficult on this side because they're both the same, uh, except for, of course, um, you know, there's a difference here. It's blue and this white, but um, this side would be difficult. The borders, especially if they have just one color, seems to be very, very, um, you know, difficult. But anyway, I will uh, do this uh, next time. It's only 500, but uh, I'm telling you, it's quite a challenge too. And um, I have two Harry Potters here. I've never built a Harry Potter um, guys because I think I don't know what happened to my previous Harry Potters. I think I returned it or must have given it away. Um, yeah. So so this one is from Aquarius. I know that I have mixed reviews when it comes to Aquarius because some of their uh, puzzles are really really crappy, crappy, crappy. Especially their Christmas. Um, elf collection what's that guy's name I forgot Steve no no it's not Steve whatever but that was really really awful uh, I did not even attempt to uh, build the borders because they just fit together and it was just very very frustrating but anyway this one uh, if it doesn't work for me I can always you know um, send it or give it away um, just to give you an update I was supposed to um, bring those two full garbage bags full of puzzles probably like 20 or 30 puzzles i was supposed to drop them off at the uh, senior citizen but then my um, son's girlfriend and her friend were here came here and i asked them if they wanted and they said yes so uh, they were so excited and happy of course i would too because those were expensive puzzles that i gave them and um yeah so they just uh, got the puzzles and uh they were happy to take them all so i said okay because i really really i have ocd guys i want everything clean in this house so once i've done it off it goes unless it's a ravensburger i'm still trying to sell my ravensburger <clears throat> i don't know <clears throat> anyway so uh yeah so this is uh how much does i get this for it was two dollars i was like oh, two dollars whatever okay because my niece also is into harry potter and um yeah so it was only a two dollar uh, four dollars no two dollars so i'm really not sure what to expect from this so we'll see we'll see about that maybe one day i think this would be easier because there are like four uh you know you can distinction so it will be easier so and this is from aquarius again again so i did um do one aquarius the the charlie brown and it was good it was a good good uh, it was a good quality puzzle while the other is you know i i don't know so i hope this will be a good one and there's another one from aquarius friends and this one is a shaped puzzle and i don't know what to expect from this one because you know this would be a challenge if this is really the border and if they are really shaped oh i guess so guys i think it would be a challenge they're all yellows but it seems to be zero dust see as you can see it's zero dust oh no 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 there's a bit of dust but it's um quite nice it's very very thick so maybe it also differs because, you know, this is the friend's collection. And of course, this one uh, is a Fred puzzle that uh, this was difficult, guys. I did not expect that. <laughs> um, anyway, I got this from, uh, surprisingly, from... Um, Oh, good. Uh, good thing I put off buying these Fred puzzles um, because I saw them at, at which bookstore was that? One, one, one in a million, or oh, whatever, something like that. And they were nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents plus tax. But uh, this one, I think I got it for twelve ninety nine at um, Home Goods. So I'm like, okay. Uh, uh, this uh, I, I also made a review on this one. This is um, luxurious luxurious packaging it was a okay it was okay but i feel like you know um i think i did not have a 100 positive review on this one so uh 
I think, um, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure I found something wrong <laughs> because well well that's what i do i'm a critique so on this one it was difficult the level of difficulty but packaging is superb and uh, yeah so let me see what uh the thickness on this one yeah so i've already built this as you can see yeah. <laughs> so uh i just fell in love with the packaging guys all right oh shoot i think that's that's my package coming all right, so this one is also a first brand. I mean, my first br new brand from Hardy Grant. And I'm telling you, I like this brand. Uh, it was, I would say it's a quality puzzle, quality, quality puzzle from Lizzo. It was difficult. I also made a review on this one. Guys, you would expect a review if it's a new to me puzzle. So Hardy Grant, uh, yeah, very, very nice. Again, I bought this from, uh, I think, TJ Maxx for $8. Normally, this is $19.99. That seems to be the base price for Ravensburger, Hardy Grant, a Fred Puzzle, and things like that. Okay, now uh, I got this. I was surprised to see this. Where did I go yesterday? Walmart. They had a uh, Ravensburger. Normally, this square Ravensburger would be, um, I think, uh, 15, 14, 99 dollars, even uh, Barnes and Noble. This was only 10 dollars and 99 cents from Walmart, and this was the only Ravensburger they had. So, probably because of the packaging, because it's well, well, you know, well inferior compared to that of the regular rectangular packaging, but nevertheless, they should have been at least priced. 15 14 you know but anyway i got this for 10 99 so i i was happy so yesterday on this one i made a review on this one this was difficult to cobble heel um uh yeah this was from hobby lobby i did a review the other day and um yeah i mean oh i had a fr uh, i think my frustration on this one that's why I normally don't make a video if I have already reviewed a particular um, puzzle brand unless it's from a different collection. But this one, the quality is not at par with the other Cobble Hill um, uh, puzzles that I have built in the past because some pieces fit in places that don't, you know, they're not supposed to be there. So that was my only complaint. But other than that, um, the blue donuts gave me anxiety here <laughs> well because you don't know which which were where to put it but anyway i completed it so uh i did not enjoy this as much as i would have because it, it, looking at a food you would enjoy it like i think one from spring block that i did not enjoy was the triple layered cake i hated that i hated that it was very difficult but anyway um you know uh, the quality is not the same as a regular one next is um this i was surprised guys uh because this is very enchanting and magical easy okay now they've come up with an easy grip easy to hold and um yeah so um uh, this is 1000 pieces you can see it's very very uh, there is a castle is that a castle but it's just very picturesque and you know really really nice and um this is from Seiko I don't normally normally like Seiko it's, it's like at the bottom of my uh, puzzle you know tier uh, because of the quality but you know this was I think 12 12.99 uh, I wanted to review this because it's my very first um, easy to hold. So um, basically, they are larger than the normal, you know. So I'm excited to see this. It has a purple uh, backing. I know it's going to be a challenge because there's so many greens here. But, uh, you know, my favorite puzzle brand is the Easy Grip Buster Pieces. Easy Grip. So they also came up with easy to hold. So, you know. Uh, I, I think this will be, uh, you know, a better quality, of course, than the regular Seiko's. So I bought this yesterday from Walmart. Anyway, uh, another one is from Kodak. I saw this at Target. They were having a sale. I think this was 
with the sale I like Target because they would have um, you know um, you would have a sale normally on um, some of their pieces um, I, I they had like nine ninety nine before or ten dollars Ravens burger that's when I snapped up I mean I got a lot of Ravens burger before but the, anyway this one is I don't like Kodak per se because uh, I built another 1500 it's the Ketchikan Alaska thing and I did not enjoy that because uh, the it was just strange I mean the pieces were strange and then some corners were not the corners it's like you know it's it, it's uh, a little bit confusing but I was able to um, complete that anyway uh, but anyway because of the price for 1500 it was eight eight dollars so I'm like okay I might as well just get it and now I also got this from Target <laughs> it's a Christmas Christmas toy shop 2,000 pieces and uh, I haven't uh, built I did build 2,000 lot um, like a month ago um, this is uh, I also built an Amy Stewart 2000 and that was difficult <laughs> I think it will be difficult here too because the colors are all the same <laughs> and uh, anyway um, this was I think $14 uh, Buffalo I love Buffalo it's um, it's one of those you know you know what to expect they were they were they were good you know whether it's um, Amy Stewart or the Charles Waisaki or any any buffalo Daryl Bush uh, it would be it would be you know what to expect it would be okay so I got this from uh, Walmart also now I have this also belt I think I repurchased this I think I also built one that is 1000 already last year and I gave it away what happened last year was that I was purging and I just I think this was one of the, but it wasn't, was it 2000? But anyway, um, yeah. So I returned some of them that I did not like and then I repurchased it. So because I just, you know, it's 2000 pieces. So yeah, for some reason, I like building uh, barns and uh, flea market uh, themed <laughs> things or antique shops. So yeah, I have actually built a lot of buffalo with this kind of like yard quilting and things like that. Yeah, and and then perfectly puzzling, you would uh, see them from uh, I mean at, at um, discount stores, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. Those three. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. So they're not uh, they're not bad, but this was the very first gradient puzzle that I saw from there so I was like mm, okay I might as well get it because I thought gradient puzzles would be difficult the first one I bought was from uh, not cloudberries what was that it was one of those uh, premium uh, puzzle brands uh, and it was good it was I thought I, I would be I would struggle a lot but I did not it was actually really really fast because uh, sorting out would be you know a lot faster than the normal you know uh, picture um, puzzle anyway yeah so I don't know what to expect um, well I've, I've built several perfectly puzzling these are normally $12.99 over there but I think they were they were only five dollars when I went there and I was like it's gonna be my very first gradient puzzle from them so I was like okay I might as well just get that it's five dollars if that was priced at $12.99 then I was like no because I'd rather get the cloud berries or something and this one this one would be, uh, I was like, I might as well get it because it's going to be, I like to get um, puzzles that are easy to build, of course, <laughs> and easy to, to, to sort. So, you know, I, I do like, love some challenge, but I'm like, oh, whatever. I have a lot of, I have a lot of puzzles to build. I might as well just, you know. <laughs> be done and get done with another one move on so so uh this was uh five oh for some reason this was priced at six dollars you know it's it's just so um I, I i will never understand them because sometimes they put them in the clearance section but then they all they, although they may have the same sometimes same puzzle same brand same picture they would have it at five dollars some of them six dollars some of them eight dollars so you know you just have to you know uh, look i mean i 
I had to, you know, really, really, I, I spent a long, I spent a long time over there, guys, uh, just looking at puzzles and comparing the prices. Because some of them were $10, some of them were $8. So, you know, I think the, the people who do this sticker or whatever, uh, I don't know, probably they don't know. But uh, when you go to the clearance section, it would be on the, ye the yellow ones would be like the bottom, bottom <laughs> dollar that you're going to, um, you're going to pay. Yes, at TJ Maxx, they do mark their um, prices. I mean, their merchandise with a yellow sticker. If it's the, the you know, the, the clearance, clearance of all, mother of all clearance <laughs> sales. So, yeah, so... Uh, this would be nice okay so there you go guys so those are my um uh, new purchase for how many weeks so i'm for a month i guess uh, uh i don't want to to get a lot and i have also sent like half of my puzzles to my aunt and i just had to remove them from the box and even then they're still very very heavy so there you go um i will be doing a review of completed puzzles also and uh, expect um new yeah a new video from me if it's an it, it, uh, like, yes I'm, I'm looking forward to um you know reviewing this and comparing this to the masterpieces easy grip okay there you go guys okay bye